Did you know how powerful the evolutionary engine is in Excel Solver? In this video, an example of optimizing project procurement and supplier selection is solved. We'll create and share a dynamic template in Excel with three easy steps. Formulating the objective function and constraints, setting up the Excel Solver, and configuring options of the evolutionary engine. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Step 1 is formulating the objective function and constraints. Our case study focuses on the company's need to procure raw materials from different suppliers to minimize cost while meeting certain constraints. With a cost of $500 per unit, supplier A can supply a maximum of 100 units. Supplier B offers a lower price of $450 per unit but can provide 80 units only. With a cost of $550 per unit, supplier C can supply a maximum of 120 units. Decision variables will be the number of ordered units and we can enter zeros as placeholders for now. The company needs to purchase a total of 200 units which will the sum of ordered units. Our objective is to minimize total cost, which is the sum product of cost per unit and number of ordered units. Step 2 is setting up the Excel solver. To solve the supplier selection problem, we need to activate and use the Excel solver. This can be done via File tab, Options, Excel add-ins, Solver add-in. After activation, click on Data tab and select Solver from the list. Set objective refers to total cost or the sum product function we defined in step 1. Minimization is our desired task here. The second dialog box of by changing variable cells refers to number of ordered units. Our project procurement is subject to four constraints. Maximum supply capacity for supplier A is 100, for supplier B is 80, and for supplier C is 120. The final constraint refers to our total order, which is 200 units. We should select evolutionary from the drop-down menu as our problem-solving method. Now we can press the solve button. Depending on complexity, solving the problem can take some time. We can achieve the minimum cost of $97,000 by ordering 100 units from supplier A, 80 units from supplier B, and 20 units from supplier C. Step 3 is configuring options of the evolutionary engine. You can potentially improve the solution by adjusting the default options of this heuristic approach which is based on genetic algorithms. Tuning the parameters such as convergence, mutation rate, population size, and random seed is possible. One helpful tip is to increase mutation rate for the algorithm to escape local optima and find the global optimum within the solution space. You can visualize the results by any Excel chart. And here it is, an easy and short implementation of the evolutionary method in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing. I hope to have your comments and see you in the next one.